Welcome to Heaven to See TV. Now, guys, we've just finished playing for Lentia at home, where we've just lost 1 0. Now, guys, it is gutting, isn't it? I'm absolutely gutted. Obviously, it's our first Champions League game of this season, first Champions League game back at the bridge, first Champions League game that Frank Lampard's in charge of us. You know, it is a shame. Um, I'm going to talk you guys through the game, but yeah, I am gutted. I did think we uh, were actually going to win tonight, or at least get a draw, you know? I, I really didn't expect us to lose. Um, I don't know whether that was a bit more of the confidence from Wolves as well. I don't know. I just thought we were going to be off to a flyer, but... It's just a bit of a shame, really. I'm gutted. And obviously, we missed a penalty as well. So that's also really frustrating because we could have got a point out of it. But yeah. But guys, let's talk about the starting 11. So Kepa started in goal. Then we had Zuma, Christiansen, Tamori, Azpilicueta, Alonso, Jorginho, Kofitic, Mount Willian, and Abraham. Um, so yeah, so pretty much a very similar team. Like, well, the team that played against. Um, Wolves, pretty much. Um, so, yes, obviously, Frank thought that worked. Now, let's talk about seven minutes in. Um, William and Azpilicueta was linking up, was brilliant um, with Tammy Abraham. It was great to see. Some people have knocked Azpilicueta a little bit this season, saying he's not been up to like previous seasons and up to his usual wolf form. But he started off really, really well. And I think Azpilicueta has a pretty good game, you know. I know we lost, but... The players still played well, in my opinion. Um, certain individuals, well, pretty much all of them, they all had good sparks or showed off the potential. So, yeah, like, I know we've lost. And obviously, we've got a lot to work on if because we, we have lost. But as I said, I do think individual players had good performances tonight. Individually, they did. Um, and there's proof for, for every player, you know. And I will be doing my player ratings for the Chelsea Echo. and um, talking about each individual player after this. Make sure to... Um, check that out but when it's up but yeah I, as I said I don't think there was any player that had a really really bad game tonight in my opinion but I could be wrong and um, that's my opinion and um, so Alonso did well as well tonight and um, promising signs from him and um, 10 minutes in Colin Quinn was booked for a nasty challenge on Mason Mount now then five minutes later, it was clear to see that the knock that Collikin had given Mason Mount had really affected him and Pedro come on for Mason Mount. I think that was a good movement by Frank because um, obviously if a player's injured, you can't let them carry on and bringing Pedro on is good, you know. Pedro's still a really good player. He did amazing in the Europa League last season as well. Um, and then 27 minutes in, as Piliqueta swung it in um, from the right and Tammy beat his marker to get on the end of it um, but his head had just bounced wide of the goal so again good link up play with Azpilicueta and uh, Tammy Abraham he, I feel like Azpilicueta is putting himself out there more being more assert assertive and direct with his moves um, something that he lacked a little bit at the start of the season in my opinion so that's good to see him being so assertive and taking control from the back that's his job he is the captain as well so that is really good to see and something definitely something good and a positive to take from tonight's game um, and Tamori again 37 minutes in Tamori um, shot at the goal unfortunately it went wide but it's good to see Tamori making confident moves now this is what it, exactly what us Chelsea fans want to see the youth doing being assertive and putting themselves out there and that's exactly what we're seeing from all of them and I love to see it I love the confidence from the players when they do this they are direct the confident, the very, very young. They they are all taking this opportunity, stepping up and grasping it with their two hands. And I know we haven't won, but it doesn't mean to say that these players haven't had a good performance from that, especially the youngsters. And um, 75 minutes in, Giroud came on and Zuma off. That was an interesting move. Obviously, Frank obviously thought we need to play a little bit more attacking at that point. Um, so that's why he had two strikers on the pitch. And he did that. Well, I wouldn't say early on because it was 75 minutes, um, but we still have 15 minutes left. So, yeah. Um, and then, obviously, 35 minutes in, um, Valencia scored. Now, we we just couldn't swing the game round from that point, obviously. Um, 
we, the only chance we had was the penalty and unfortunately Barkley missed it. But we won't, won't hold it against him at the end of the day. If a player misses a penalty, player misses a penalty. No hate should be given. It just is what it is, you know. And I'm sure that player will then work on the penalty shootout in training and the penalty taken, sorry. And um, so, yeah, and then four minutes at a time, we just couldn't manage to do anything in the end. Um, but, yeah, I'm just a bit gutted. And, and I suppose it, it's more frustrating because it is our first Champions League game. And this group, oh, how do I say this without sounding rude? Valencia, I'd expect to finish third or fourth, in my opinion, um, in this group stage. So, for them to beat us worries me because I feel like Ajax and Lille will be a little bit more difficult. That's my opinion. Um, but yeah, I do think Lille and Ajax will be more difficult. And this is the home game tonight as well, so it's going to be even difficult. Uh, that's not even a word. More difficult at um, the away grounds um, in Europe, but we've just got to be prepared for it. Um, now, this is going to be a crap excuse. I don't even know if I should say this or not. The players would have been tired from Saturday. We won 5-2 against Wolves. It was a hard game you know and um, they managed to do it and then they obviously had to come out again tonight at the bridge so they would have been quite tired in my opinion and um, I believe anyways but then people say all oh, the football players get paid this that and the other but it doesn't mean to say that they're not going to be tired there's a lot of pressure on them at the moment especially these youngsters they're not used to this and um, it's very very hectic schedule for them so yeah it's, it's just a little bit it's just stressful they're going to be tired but we move on anyways. That's it done. Let's just hold onwards and upwards in the Champions League high. Um, I will be doing the next two home games, actually, which I'm really excited for. Ajax and Lille. Um, I'll be travelling down from Derby for the two Wednesday night games. Um, See, so I'm really looking forward to that. We'll be vlogging all of them as well, so I'm excited. Um, so we've now got Liverpool on Sunday at half four in the Premier League. So we've got a few days to prepare for that. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, so hopefully that gap gives us a bit of time to prepare. So tiredness won't be an issue. And it is a bit of a letter kick off on Sunday. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed for that one. And then we move on to the next. So yeah, um, my... Man of the match tonight would have to be Azpilicueta. I would give it to Azpilicueta. And it's not just... I wouldn't necessarily say he was like the best player on the pitch or anything, but I just feel like there's been a lot of self-improvement there, in my opinion. Um, he's, he's improved a lot, so that's why I would give him the man of the match um, due to self-improvement. Um, but yeah, but thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like, come subscribe. Let me know down below all your match thoughts and who your man of the match was. I know we lost, but... You can still have my match. And um, yeah, onwards and upwards. Let's not get down. Um, it is what it is. We move on. And yeah, I'm just going to remember Wolves because that was happy in memories. I'm just going to forget about tonight if I can. Um, but yeah, up the shelves. Thanks.